any recommendations on fixing butt wink in a low bar squat? Uh, I have a recommendation. Do you have a recommendation? So usually in the low bar squat, you will probably need to be thinking about kind of spreading your knees a little bit wider as in like driving them out to the side. It's probably one of the better ways of controlling room for your hip. So normally what happens in a high bar squat when you have a lot of forward knee travel or you need a lot of forward knee travel, what often happens is people don't have the adequate range of motion or they're standing too close in their squat sense. And so then their lower back doesn't have the required stability or flexibility and it kind of compensates a little butt wink. So what you can kind of do then with the high bar squat is make your foot a little bit what your foot stance, your squatting stance a little bit wider and give your hips a bit more room and have a little bit more coordination with your hips, your knees. But then obviously in the low bar, you can't really go with too much more forward knee travel. So usually at the low bar, what you need to do is kind of learn to kind of screw your kind of hips, open them up a little bit and then drive your knees out to the side so much, kind of similar to someone like uh, Toshiki, for example. I think the biggest way people fuck up or they have a butt wing for a low bar squat is they have a terrible position when they stand up at the top. So they have the bar like really low down. They tend to be like leant over forward before they even start. And then they're seeking this like feeling of tightness in their lower back and they end up having an extended lower back instead of having a neutral lower back. So then obviously if I'm squatting with an extended lower back at some point, that's going to come into play as being a, a weaker point in my setup. And it's just, you're going to have butt wink every single time. So I'd say start looking at the, the actual position you're starting the squat with. Make sure you're upright and you're not like leant over like this, barely able to hold it. Um, a lot of like particularly medium or moderately good low bar squatters, they start squats like this. Mm-hmm. And then sit down and stand up like you start to squat like this. You do see sometimes as well a lot of um, a lot of low bar people at the moment will squat like toes forwards because it'll feel like a more quasi movement, which is ironic because you're trying to do the yeah. low bar squat. But uh, what you should probably be doing is looking for like a toes out position. So we're not looking like duck feet, but we're looking like a kind of a forty five degree angle, like of your mid toe or whatever of your little pointy toe if you point the people with your feet. So slightly angled out and it'll give your hips a bit more room, and it will kind of like open up your hips a little bit more, get a bit more glute meat and a bit of hip action going a little bit better to reduce the butt wink. You shouldn't really see that much butt wink in, in low bar squats, so there's something fundamentally wrong. Usually it's probably yeah. not a small thing. 